It turns out the same aspirin you take for a headache is also a safe, effective, and cost-effective way to prevent life-threatening blood clots after orthopedic surgery. As part of the largest clinical trial of orthopedic patients ever conducted, University of Maryland researchers tested aspirin against low molecular weight heparin, a blood thinner that requires painful injections. So the question was, could we use aspirin in these trauma patients? If you ask patients, and we've done a lot of research about this, they strongly prefer a pill if the benefits are about as good as the shots. The multi-center study enrolled more than 12,000 patients with pelvic fractures or leg or arm fractures that necessitated surgery. We did find, in fact, that um, aspirin was just as good at preventing, again, our main outcome measure, which was death from any cause. It was also just as good, good as at preventing uh, death from pulmonary embolism or any proximal blood clots, I mean those blood clots that we typically will go ahead and start people on full anticoagulation for. Blood clots cause as many as 100,000 deaths each year. Preventing and treating those clots can be expensive for patients as well as the healthcare system. Well, most hospitals spend actually a lot of money on low molecular weight heparin, and also it's expensive for insurance carriers and for patients for out-of-pocket costs, and it can be very difficult for patients, especially those without insurance, to actually get low molecular weight heparin when they're discharged from the hospital. So if aspirin is just as effective as low molecular weight heparin, it would really help uh, streamline care for patients, particularly patients who don't have insurance uh, and have uh, less access to more expensive health care. Dr. O'Toole believes the study will lead more doctors to prescribe aspirin to prevent blood clots, and aspirin may soon become the standard of care. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.